What's up guys, Matt here. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you this 5K camcorder. I was given this to do this video. Let's check it out. I've got everything out of the box and unwrapped. I wanna quickly go through everything included because there is a ton included with this. First of all, we have this microphone. It does come with a sleeve. Note that this is a stereo microphone, left and right. And we've got some different features on it. Um, you can add 20 decibels, keep it default at zero or a pad of minus 10 decibels. This is a condenser mic, so it does take power. Then we have our flat EQ and then some rolled off base as an option. And since this is a condenser, you will need to charge it. There's no removable battery or anything. And it does come with a charge cable USB-A to the connection right here to actually charge that. And then we do have our eighth inch audio output right here and then a standard hot shoe mount. So you can mount it right on top of the camcorder. And it does also, of course, include a nice short audio cable so you can run your audio output out of this right into the camcorder. Then right here, we have our two batteries. Then we have our two batteries here, our lens cloth for cleaning the lens. We got our user manual and spec sheet here. I thought this was pretty unique about this. It comes with a wireless remote that you can actually wirelessly control the camcorder from within 60 feet of any direction. And this does come with an included battery. We have our USB brick. We have our USB-A to USB-C cable, uh, which you could use to connect this camcorder to become a webcam to your computer uh, by opening this up. And there's this little slot here to open these different ports. You can also use it for charging. And it does come with a HDMI cable. It does have the kind of medium size HDMI to full size HDMI here. So you could connect it to your TV and see a display there. Then we have our stabilizer. Check this out. It folds out like so. And we have our standard uh, quarter inch threading. So you could mount the uh, camcorder right on this thread that up and it makes for a nice handle so you can hold it really, really conveniently. And I love how this folds up nice, flat and flush, making it really easy to travel with too. And then a nice travel case. This basically just fits the camcorder. It won't fit any of the other cables or anything with it. I'll show you how snug of a fit it is. Still a nice way to protect the camcorder as you travel with it or move it and so on. Then we've got our lens hood here, which actually will come in three different pieces. Smallest to largest is basically how it goes and they all thread. So we have this piece here for locking a certain position of the lens hood. So you can screw this little piece on here and then we have this medium sized piece, which screws onto the, <laughs> the main lens hood. If you remove the lens cap on the actual camcorder, you can just screw this right in. There's actually a threading inside the lens itself. So you can just twist this on. Not only that will this block out excessive sun, but this will really protect this in case of dropping and keeping accidental items from hitting the lens and so on. <laughs> Last but not least, we have the camcorder itself. 48 megapixels can record 5K at 30 frames per second. It is Wi-Fi enabled and you can actually download the iSmart DV2 app. I'll, I'll picture that on the screen here. And you could connect your iPhone, Android, some tablets, iPads, for remote viewing, capturing images, shooting video, transferring images, you know, to and from devices, and for even enabling night vision mode. Let's throw a battery on. It just slots right on the back there. As for storage, you can see the memory card slot right here. It does not come with an SD card. So you will need your own SD card. And we have a three inch, 270 degree touch screen here, which is so nice. You can flip it all the way around for kind of vlogging mode. It can even go this way too. So 270 degrees goes all the way back here. On the inside, we have some menu navigation buttons. And one thing I did notice, so I highly recommend checking out all that's possible with this. It does come with image stabilization, anti-shake, self-timer, time-lapse shooting, slow motion, recording while charging, especially these resolution options. Check out all these options. And I love that you can use the touch screen to scroll through. It's just way faster than having to hit the buttons to get through the menus. And then I did find this is a little bit hidden, but if you tap the screen, then this comes up so you can preview your clips right here if you have recorded any, and it does have some onboard speakers so you can hear them as well. And then around the camera, we have a bunch of other features too. It is enabled with a 16 times zoom. So we've got our wide, I call it just zoomed in, but telephoto. So basically if you wanna stay wide, you scroll this way. If you wanna zoom in, scroll way down on the T side of it, your telephoto. Then we've got our photo and our mode change button, standard hot shoe mount on the top. You can slide out this little placeholder. 
and mount either the stabilizer, the audio mic. It does have this built-in strap as well as the lens cap will be looped and attached like this. We do have some indicators here, whether it's busy or charging. And then our main record start stop button on the back, which is really ergonomically natural <laughs> to, to record if you're holding it like a normal kind of camcorder setup. So that being said, I've got my own SD card in here. Let's record some footage of me with this and you can kind of judge and see how you like how it looks. And I will use the onboard audio mic. I'll try those different audio settings with the mic. Let's uh, hook this up and you can judge for yourself. All right, so here is how it's looking and sounding. You can kind of uh, judge, this is on 20 dB added. <laughs> it's on the mic, so this may be really loud. So now I've got it set on the zero dB setting. So this is kind of the default setting for the mic. You can kind of judge how it sounds. I'm not gonna edit this or change the audio at all. So this is exactly what you get right out of the camera. And then last but not least, here is the negative 10 decibel setting for the mic. And you can kind of judge how that sounds. So I hope this video helped show you exactly what to expect with this 5K camcorder. Thanks as always for watching. See you guys.